In World News Express headlines, a 22-year-old woman was killed in a crash in Manchester. The police have identified a woman who succumbed to injuries she sustained in a crash on the Winston Jones Highway close to Mandeville on Sunday night. The woman has been identified as 22-year-old Torian Elliott, a resident of Reaches in Clarendon. According to the police, close to 7.45 p.m., three persons were traveling uphill towards Mandeville in a Toyota Crown motor car when it was hit by another car. This resulted in the Toyota Crown going over a guardrail. The police mentioned that the driver of the other car did not stop at the scene. Firefighters had to be called to extricate Miss Elliott from the mangled Toyota Crown. She, along with two men, were rushed to the hospital, where she died while undergoing treatment. The men are said to be in stable condition. In further news, a man was killed just a few days prior to his wedding. Residents are still in disbelief and shock that a man whom they described as a well-respected citizen and dedicated member of the community was killed in a mob attack in Mandeville just a few days prior to his wedding. 62-year-old Campbell died from injuries that he sustained after he was beaten by a crowd of persons on Lower Manchester Road on Friday. Death of Mr. Campbell has led to protests in southern Manchester as residents used debris and trees to block sections of the main road in their community. Residents are calling for justice. They mentioned that the man lost his life after leaving his wife in a nail salon. They said that his wife had traveled from a foreign country to come and visit him so that they could have a wedding. Further reports indicate that the crowd accused the man of stealing and the police realized that he had blood around an area close to his nostrils. It was further stated that the police took Mr. Campbell to the Mandeville Hospital, where he died while undergoing treatment. The police are appealing to anyone with information that can assist with the investigation to contact them.